Hello everybody, this is Touch95 here and welcome to the Beginner's Guide. Um, this one gets a bit goofy. About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. <gasps> and you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Oh, I can. I fell pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. Stage. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. Mm -hmm. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. <laughs> yeah. It's a starter conversation.
The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting himself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with his person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. What's going on? Uh, help, I can't see what's going on. Three. I'm blind. That says whisper. Please. Oh my god! It's a killing giant door. No! Oh, okay. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Uh, tell me how to solve it. No idea. Uh. Okay. Speak the honest truth. Uh, 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 uh. That is the truth. I have no idea. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. Okay. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Hello? Oh! Lovely. It's been a long time I've seen and talked to you. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. Oh no. I can't jump down. There was a machine that I kept going. That stopped. The siren's going off. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find this engine and easy. Start again. Oh. Wait, you're looking for the 
machine. I know where it is. It isn't far. I need to see it. I need to I know why it stopped. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like, video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about, and I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just, I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. The machine. Guard. Ma'am, let's see you arrive safely. Capture the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. <clears throat> I intend to be quick. I intend to be quiet. I intend to be brutal. 
very good. Just to be just to be warned someone called the press. So we might have a bit of difficulty with this one. And of course, it's the machine. What? Remember, you can click to fire the gun. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So what if I did it for it? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. 
you know, the point of it all is just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something, I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like, I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. Is Coda? All right, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below anything in general, and this is TT95 signing off. Bye, guys.